Okay, what I took in here is a 1987 enticer. Kind of a no, kind of a no start condition, although I already got it fired up. It just uh, doesn't, doesn't really rev up. So we're gonna do a kind of a full, kind of a full fuel system rebuild. I mean, you can see that carb has been abused and probably never cleaned. Um, we'll figure it out. But here's what those are. These are dang nice sleds for 1987. Twin cylinder, single Makuni carb, super easy to work on. Similar to the Bravo, I'd say, but just a little bit bigger. Anyway, we'll get to it. Okay, I got about an hour of tear down on the enticer. Nothing surprising yet. Got the carbs pulled, belt off. Doing a little bit of cleanup. Not much yet. So, we got good compression, good spark. Looks like we're gonna rebuild the fuel system. And probably, for sure, gonna dive into the carburetor. See what's going on with that. So we're just getting to the vacuuming on this. And that's it for now. Yeah, on this one, I just wanna add in that you should never over rev these motors without the belt and the clutch guard on. You could have a bad accident, have the clutch halves cl click together and explode. So I was just warned about that this week. So we don't do this that often. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that, not to do it. So you can see these uh, three holes in the towers. I call them towers for the carburetor, for the enticer. Um, two of the holes get those uh, rubber plugs we're all looking for all the time. And the one tower that doesn't get the uh, plug is over the pilot jet, which can be a little confusing because oftentimes we do plug the pilot jet. So this is just another picture, more of uh, showing the towers and where the plugs do go. Most often the towers that are plugged have a hole in them somewhere. And you can see the holes in this picture. Anyway, uh, just a reminder, only the pilot jet is not plugged on this second gen enticer. Okay, here's the first test ride on the enticer. Running good. Lots of power.